Some anatomical sites carry special challenges, and the thyroid gland is certainly one of them. Several factors are important for success. The first one is the position of the patient. Hyperextension of the neck created by a pillow under the neck and shoulder area usually makes it more difficult to access the mass. This is because both the skin and the muscles become stretched and firm, hiding any deep-seated nodule in the neck. In my experience, it is easier to hold and palpate a nodule when the neck is relaxed. This can be achieved by laying the patient down flat or by putting a pillow under the patient's head. The second is stabilizing the nodule. Most nodules will be adjacent to the trachea, and the trachea, therefore, can be used as a support. The easiest way to hold the nodule is to use the fore and middle fingers on each side of the nodule, pressing against the trachea. If the nodule is large and extends laterally, make sure it is not covered by muscle. In order to push the lateral muscle aside, place the fingers medial. The third factor is the angle of the needle. In order to avoid passing through muscle and into the trachea, the needle should be tangential to the side of the trachea. The main reason the thyroid gland is a tricky area is its many blood vessels. The harvest will almost always contain a fair amount of blood. Therefore, I recommend doing fewer excursions with a needle, somewhere between 5 and 10. Do remember, though, that suction alone will not produce a good sample. The needle technique without suction, described earlier, often works well in the thyroid gland. Targets in the axilla may be difficult to reach and to immobilize. The best position for the patient is to be sitting up with the arm slightly abducted and as relaxed as possible. One way of accomplishing this is to put the patient's hand on the operator's shoulder like this. Another possibility is to have an assistant support the patient's arm in the same position. 